against your advancement in the will of God is a relationship that is out of order that is out of place let me teach you the simple way to judge whether a relationship is right for you at any level it doesn't matter who the person is whether a female or a male it doesn't matter who the person is whether a man of God it doesn't matter who the person is this is what shows that it is a basic basic uh, uh, so to say procedures and protocols that shows a relationship is right for you or not the first thing is that your friend or your any relationship you find yourself you both must share the same core values the same core convictions you must share the same core values your value system there must be harmony they must be the same imagine you are honest and consistent you are passionate and self-driven and you are in a relationship with someone that is absolutely dishonest and insincere you are working with someone who is lethargic it's not passionate for God. It will truncate your process. Amen. That means both of you are not heading towards the same destination. It's going to bring you setback. And it will cause you pain. You must watch your relationship. Now the second, you know, so to say, uh, uh, it's uh, 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 so, so to say uh, uh, that serves as standard and code to help you judge your relationship is that you must be in relationship with somebody that is able to discern times and season and understand the will of God you are expected to be like that anyway someone who understands God's will for the time, for the hour, for a, in a particular dispensation and generation. Amen. Someone who understands God's will. Now, these guys, the wise men, they were worshippers. Is that right? They came to worship the king. Now, Herod, Herod worshipped no one. <laughs> Praise God. There is no. There's no consistency. They weren't sharing the same value. These people had the, they could discern, they had the understanding of signs. They could understand times that these, by the virtue of the fact that they were worshippers and they had prophetic revelation, they knew that dispensation has changed in the spirit. Times has changed in the spirit. It's no longer the season of the Gentiles. It's a season of of the emergence of the king that will bring about the salvation of mankind Herod had no clue about that he had no clue he had no understanding of the times and the seasons you can't be in, you can't be, you, it's, you, someone your, your, your allies cannot be someone who does not have an understanding of times and seasons such relationship would truncate your journey. No clue. Then the third one. Purity of heart. A pure heart. But you know, you know, there are people that are like Herod. May you not have Herod as a friend. There are people that are smart. I was like, if it's the understanding of times and season. You understand? That will make them that will bring Herod into a close connection with the wise men. No, no problem about that. He gathered the scribes together. He gathered wise men together. Tell me now, at what time? 
And in what city, what nation would Messiah be born? And they checked through, they checked through the scripture. And they were able to come up with the understanding of times and seasons. They said, yes, it's in Bethlehem. Accurate. Very accurate. That was the revelation of the times and seasons that the wise men were looking for. Praise God. But do you know, it's better to people who have no clue about what God is doing in a generation. Do you know, such people are better than people who are seeking the understanding of what God is doing in a generation. Not because they want to submit to the will of God. But they, because they want to keep themselves in, out of... They, they, they don't want to be out of relevance. They want to remain relevant. Not because they want to submit to the will of God. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. They want to remain relevant. So they seek the knowledge of understanding of times and season. Unfortunately, it will not change their soul. Because the Bible says if you can discern the times that these are the last days, know ye not what manner of men you ought to be. The problem is that it's not going to change their soul. It's not going to put it's not going to it's not going to bring them to the place where they're paying any price. They just want to remain relevant. Such people are dangerous. They're spiritual virus. They will corrupt your destiny. Herod, one thing in his heart to murder the king. The heart isn't right. Someone with a heart, a corrupt heart, can't be your ally. It will not work. It will not work. Let me give you a warning. Let me sound a warning. Now when we talk about a heart that is not pure, it's a function of your pursuit and your interest. The issue is that what are you up to? What are you after? If you, if your interest is to do the will of God, to submit to his plan and to his counsel, the only thing that your ally, his interest is to entrench his own interest, is to push his own agenda, is pushing for his agenda, is entrenching his own empire, self-empire, self-interest. There's going to be a problem. There will be commotion. There will be conflict. There will be such pressure that is capable of truncating the divine seed. Amen. So all I'm saying is that you must watch your relationship. And you know, let me tell you something. One thing you must watch in these last days because it is most deadly attack of the kingdom of darkness against the advancement of the truth and righteousness of God in the earth is deception. You must watch out for deception. You must watch out for deception. You know how deception operates? Deception Listen to this. Deception is the deepest and most potent pitfall of the kingdom of darkness against the kingdom of God. And listen to this. Deception does not operate on its own. You cannot come about deception all by itself. You know what brings about deception? Listen to it. No doubt about it. Deception is an is a thick, is a thick and intense presence of evil. But you know what? What brings about deception? Deception needs a leverage, and such leverage is competition, offense, bitterness resentment, strife 
there must, there must 